15 cent coin. Perfect. Thank you. So, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. So we are going to power an LED light bulb. That's tiny. It is tiny. And usually you would power something like this using a battery. Oh, right. I know what that is. Yeah. So if you look at this battery, it has two ends. This one is the positive end and this one is the negative end. Right. Right. So we're going to make exactly the same thing, but with a lemon. What? Yeah, seriously. So let's take a lemon. We're going to put a positive side in the lemon and we're going to use your 10 cent coin. <laughs> and we're going to put it in here. And that's the positive part. Now, I'm going to need a galvanized nail. Let me a nail? see. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, is the desk going to be OK? I think it'll be fine. I won't tell. OK. So this nail here is going to be our negative side. Right. So when we create electricity, we have to have electrons flow from one side to the other through the lemon, just like in our battery. So, hold on. The lemon is going to be a battery. It's just a fruit. It is just a fruit, but it's got acid in there, and the acid creates a reaction on the nail that produces electrons, and they flow through the lemon into the copper. And if we're really careful, we can connect the two ends to this LED and make the light work. Now, because this is a tiny light bulb, I'm going to need you to help me turn the lights out. Can you ah. go draw the blinds, please? Totally. Ah. Here we go. One, two, three. Connect. <gasps> it's glowing. It sure is. And if we make more lemon batteries and connect them together in series, we can make it glow brighter. Oh. Making batteries with the power of cells.